Okay. What is your athletics check that you're rolling? Um, my athletics is uh, a yellow and a, a green. Okay. Uh, my rank is one. Oof. But I will have to say that I'm going to draw on my extensive experience okay. as a bounty hunter and being in dangerous situations, also mm -hmm. saying how I've been scanning for danger, which I already said. You like, did say all, that. All this time before. Take another boost time because you I, have been scanning for danger. I have been. Um, and I, one thing that they teach, like, in academies everywhere. Bounty School and then, Academy. Like, get Bounty, Bounty School Academy. Academy. Yeah. Well, just in general, and then you learn in the field. <laughs> Whenever you're going through a door, you step off to the side. <laughs> you, you're never full on door. No one goes full door. That's, what they, that's the, the <laughs> phrase inscribed above the lintel. No one, the body goes full, no one goes full Bounty door. Bounty Hunter Academy. Yeah, and you ne never go full door. You never go full door. I like. I love it. So um, I think you have two boosts on that roll. I think that's uh, excellent. Okay, because I, I had one from I've got a bad feeling, and you just gave, it gave you one, one because you're scanning for danger. I'll give you another one because I like that motto, man. I like never go full never door. Never go full door. That's pretty good. Yeah. Never yeah. tell me the odds. Mm -hmm. Never go full door. Okay, uh, you're rolling that against four purple, and actually, let's make that three purple and a red because I'm spending okay. another dark side point. Should I spend one of our? Bitch. Thingies, maybe something. Can I get a, yeah, I yeah. Get I'm gonna spend one of our, uh, one of our, yeah. Oh, and you're Words. spending a light side so, point. So she can, just. I'm sorry. Did I trade the wrong one out? I took a purple. Yeah. I'm sorry. Trade. Take out the green. I had. Yeah, you had a green and a yellow. I did. No, I had a green and yellow. Yellows. Now I have two yellows. Okay. <coughs> Hey, kind of three boost things. against three purple and a black. Anything could happen here. You're right. Yeah. You mean anything awesome yeah. is about to happen I here. I don't know. I don't like the odds of that roll. Oh. Never tell me the odds. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Go. Unbelievable. Spare. Go. Spare. I got to despair. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, but I gotta despair. other bad things boop, boop, boop. cancel out, right? OK. All right, well. Well, I've got two success there, so that cancels. cancels. The two success cancels this out, right? Uh -huh. Right? So that's out. That's one advantage, because those two successes are gone. So one advantage, two of <laughs> five, five advantage. advantage. Huh. <laughs> five advantage. That shocked me bodily. Yeah. Five advantage. This is two failures. Two failures. Despair. Five advantage, two failures, and a despair. <sighs> Five advantage, five two advantage. failures, and despair. OK, so the failure and the despair I get to interpret, five advantage you get to interpret. I'd say as a rough rule of thumb, five advantage is equal to a triumph, it's effectively. A you could spend it in the same way that if you had rolled the triumph, which is you Powerful, can say something extremely positive awesome. positive consequence. Yes. OK. The other good news is you didn't roll any threats, uncanceled threats, so you guys aren't any closer to mind swapping. OK. The bad news is I have despair, so success. The flood of fluid comes out. Despair? Okay, um, I think I'm going to hit you with that same spar, man. That spar is hitting everybody. <gasps> oh, I know what to do. And you're going to get washed back I know what to, to the do. wall and flushed out into outer space with this guy into a giant bubble of fluid. <laughs> so the two of you, but no. No, it doesn't work in this case. It doesn't work in this case because you succeeded. You succeeded in this as well? Yeah, yeah I succeeded okay, in mine. Yeah. It works, so I'll be consistent. So you both get swept back off your feet with your despair. No damage because you succeeded. Swept back, this torrent of water fluid is still coming out of these open doors. You see the two of them, but you're way back against the wall. The fluid is beginning to gather up and you begin against this tide of liquid begin to get pushed out into outer space. <laughs> I know what my powerful positive consequence is. Maharaja, yes. what is it? OK, um, calling on all of my, my bounty hunter prowess and being, being able to squeak by and just that bit of danger so I can kill my mark before they kill me. Uh -huh. um, I'm going to use that same uh, metal sphere that's been, I'm sorry, not sphere, spire. spire. Yeah. That's been uh, spar. Spar. Yeah. The the. Just like a part of a girder. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna use that same thing um, and do like my bounty hunter agility stuff where I'm like using it to like you know I'm doing this <laughs> words 
Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, what, yeah. What my my point is, uh, is like this awesome agility thing where I'm like spinning on it and I yank it through the the, the force, force field. field to where it makes like that um that size hole with the sphere okay. to drain that liquid, um, where it's like I. Eject oh. that out so that it can lower the levels and and get it down to a level before we. I got it. So you're essentially yeah. you're breaching a hole in the force field that all the liquid can drain through, so you're so it can the, stabilize. The current will not be sweeping you guys out anymore. The water's just gonna, or the liquid's just going to drain out on its own. That's my powerful positive consequence. That's nice. perfect. That's a, then you have enough advantage to do that. So this yellowish, slightly thick, saline type solution. Ugh. Yeah. It's, it's weirdly organic, flows out as, as you, I guess, let's see, so dramatically, you're wrestling with this piece of metal. If you guys have ever been roiled by the surf before, if you've yeah. ever been yes. hit by a big, it feels like that where you're under and then you're up and where are you? And you've got this piece of metal and it keeps bumping you in the chin. And then you get your bearings for a moment and you see, you see Val over there getting swept along with you. And then you guys hit the force field. And then the force of the liquid is too much. You can't even get up. You can't do anything. But you have this metal spar. And you're beginning to get pushed slightly out into space as the force field bends outward, essentially, underneath the force of it. And then I guess you just kind of rotate and just puncture through the force field with this metal spar. And the metal can go right through it. And then it's almost like, yes, it's almost like a bubble just being popped. It's just out into space, we cut to like a long view as the fluid begins to spray out of this, of this force field. We can see that it's being like suspended behind the wall, this invisible force wall, and then it like springs a leak, and as soon as it hits the cold vacuum of space, it instantly freezes, flash freezes, and shoots out, propelled by this jet, and just forms this huge geyser of sparkling, like diamonds almost, it looks like, just geysering out into space. I feel like there's that John Williams like, <laughs> like under it too. And then there's a white dove. <laughs> <laughs> space dove. That'd yeah. be John Woo. Yeah, yeah. No, that's, that's what I was going for. <laughs> Liquid's levels drain. Yay. You're welcome. All right, all right, all right. You can be my co-pilot again. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are all soaked. Whoa. Um, Scott, there's, there's like kind of leaves a film on you. In fact, on everything, there's like the liquid level. You can see. Is everybody else feeling jacked? <laughs> <laughs> Woo. I just realized something. I'm just going to go storming back onto the ship. Okay. Kale. Do you ever come back? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to grab them? all of those damn bombs that we just left. <laughs> Why are you taking them? Good call. Oh, yeah, let's take that I'm with us. I'm just going to pull them, like, pull the whole sack right off of the ship. Oh, that should have been my despair. Oh, <laughs> no. I should have no. saved, oh. saved the despair for right now. Be like, oh, I'll grab the bottom. <laughs> as soon as he comes on there, he just comes dancing on there. Don't worry, little boy, I'll be right back. I'm just going to make sure nothing hurts you. Just pulls it down. You come bombs out, off. dragging the bombs. Uh, you guys are gathered out on the... Uh, Back in the hangar, the open blast doors in front of you guys. Inside is a corridor leading, I mean, it looks like a research facility. You can see these stainless steel tables. This is just what you see through the doorway. You can see the lights, like halogen bulbs suspended from the ceiling, and data terminals, and specimen cabinets, and things like this. Except it's all in a pool of this liquid that's like, 18 inches deep. I so he's gonna have to swear to God, it. if they were like researching Rancor P, I will hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> like, we've, no, I guarantee you it's not. We've had enough. Okay, thank we've you. We've had enough Rancor <laughs> excrement. Okay, cool. You're gonna have to slosh through it. Wait, I gotta take my to critical wound. It. Okay, is it you or is it the Rancor? Is it Yerp or is it Roof? <sighs> He's just a baby, so I think, and you know, it's, it makes I don't more sense that surrogate. it would be him. It would, does make more sense because he was right there. And Unless you were like, yeah, no. Right. I hate wow. to do this to Europe though, because like, you can get a prosthetic wing for a for a Grego. 
he knows what it is, but Europe isn't going to understand. Mm-hmm. What are you going to do? Uh, it's Europe. Europe's taking it. Okay. So in, in this case, what I think I'll do is Europe is 200 to go on. Yeah. So for the rest of the game, you're not going to have him with you until put you can back get on the back. Ship. You can go back on the ship. Yeah. Um, Goodbye, Europe. Got I'll him. carry him. Got him in one of... <laughs> <laughs> With your thighs. Heart just beating like a. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. You get this. You're back on the ship. He's limping pretty badly. It's one of his limbs, one of his legs. It didn't matter what the roll was because some of these roll out to be pretty not that bad. That was 10. That would have been fine if you'd taken that. That would have been okay. Well, I didn't know that before I rolled it. Oh, it was too bad. Uh, I also think, no, we'll leave that for now. I do think when he takes critical wounds instead of you, uh -huh. it threatens the level of your psychic connection. Oh. You still have your psychic connection. I'm not going to take away just now, but just so you know, I maybe we'll roll a light side, dark side in take the future. A steel beam to the head. So, <laughs> in the future, I might roll a light side, dark side point to see if it takes you back down one level. Okay. 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 Dadgummit! Or it remains, he just interprets everything as the opposite of what you intend. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's pretty fun. Um, so that would be terrible for everybody. So you pass the Rancor going onto the ship as you drag the bombs off. Yeah, I need to figure out where to put these. Europe doesn't want to come with you. Oh, uh, can I get a, uh, by the way, this is a good time to do a uh, hit point and strain check for everyone around the table so that people in chat know. Uh, let's start with Gippy. Gippy, what are your hit points and strength? Gippy's right? dead. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Zero. He's super dead. He's like negative a thousand. Uh, there's a little bit, we could all say, it's, it's fair to say there's a little bit of Gippy in all of us now. That's true. Oh, oh. Not me on the bottom of my boots. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, character uh, Jost. Johnst. Cap, Cap, yeah, Johnst. Sergeant Johnst. Sergeant Johnst. The most uh, not made up name I've ever has, come up has, with. Has uh, 12 wounds. He's perfectly fine. He's just ha taking a little strain. He's got nine strain left. 12 wound, nine strain. He's doing all right. Out of, out of how many? Out of 12. Okay. okay. Um, Maharaja, what is your wound and strain currently? Uh, I have eight wounds because of that earlier concussion, and I have 12 strain. Eight wounds and 12 strain. I Root? Root is uh, full, full health. And one strain down, so 11 total strain. 11 strain. Okay, Root has come out pretty well so well, far. Well, she let her Rancor take the one big hit yeah. like a bastard. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Root's never going to forgive herself. No. Well, and as you as you put Europe on the Root ship. Root has to take a setback die. <laughs> oh, oh. Feeling bad. As you put As you put Europe up on the ship, too, Europe is like, keeps wanting to follow you yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. No, no, stay. No. I want you to come, I forget. I need to help. No. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like he's talking, but he's not. Yeah, you don't know. Yeah. It's just our psychic connection uh -huh. makes it into words. Mm -hmm. Yeah. From the outside, it's just terrifying. Yeah. 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 It's just, uh, <laughs> it's just a rancor screaming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But you, you, you managed to keep him back, but he's doing that, that like when you leave your dog at home and you're just like, swatting right, right. you go, yeah, yeah. face yeah. up against the glass. So I do that trick that I do with my dog as well. Or get a big handful of tricks, uh, treats, in this uh. case, a big handful of Gippy. Oh. And I put it back oh, in a room. No. And I just throw it back in a room that he can't see me. And then he. What do you roll, pick up roll, there? Roll, roll. Just and then yeah, I just his head. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, put it. Yeah. Can I have something to say about this? Uh, yeah, 100% you yeah. can. Um, I'm leaning against the door while you're uh, throwing the Gimpy in there, kind of like filing my nails a little bit. And I'm like, are you sure you don't want your. Your really great best friend to go with you. I mean, no. think think about it. I mean, <laughs> you're you're little, you're little, and I can only save us so much. And he's big and strong, and he wants to be with you. I think we should take him along, don't you think? Stop. <laughs> she, the 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 rancor's out. It can't come. Okay. That's my ruling. It's too bad. <laughs> uh, but if you want to screw with her mind a little more. No, that's what you <laughs> It was a fully accomplished mind screwed. Okay, so mm -hmm. I'm going to give you leverage over her. Uh, oh. if, if you make any rolls against her to try and make her do something or confuse her, I'll give you a boost on that. Okay. Or maybe an upgrade. Oh, oh, that's what I was doing. Val. <laughs> my wound is 13 out of 13, and my strain is 8 out of 12. Okay. 
Okay, so uh, we guys uh, will be wrapping up this in the next few minutes. So we'll be approaching with the end here. But, um, which means, first of all, as, a, as Sergeant Johnst is preparing to go, you, so you obviously do have a weapon. Are your legs still roided out? or the, 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 the <laughs> it's, it's faded. Quickly like, turning to flab? I'm, <laughs> once again, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm noodly as I was in swim club when I was a kid. Like, <laughs> live. I'll never live it down. <laughs> live, and as you, as you walk across the floor, moving with the, uh, the grace of a, of a newborn fawn, Mm. Just the light prancing steps. Oops. Oh no, you're all dead. No, this <laughs> so you you have your you have your uh, weapon of choice, which of course you use as a highly trained member of the New Republic um, military. Right. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Which is uh, an awesome ninja weapon. Oh. <laughs> oh goodness. So you come off you uh, as you deroid or whatever you have your controller. Uh firmly latched to the middle of your and chest. And then I take out my awesome. So I, I do want to hear what you guys think the most awesome ninja weapon is before I get into what they suggested. Or should I tell you guys what they did first? No. Oh, I, I don't know. The, I don't know. Nunchucks. The... Nunchucks oh. are pretty awesome. What's the one yeah. with the chain with the hook on the end? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh. You yeah, know, that was pretty awesome. Like, the yeah. Kusari Gami, <laughs> which I believe is the chain. That, that got the most votes. It literally says chain with hook on the end. All <laughs> right. Are you there we go. Are you kidding? There we go. No, I'm not. Kusari got me. Chain with, chain hook, with on hook on the end. end. I can't. <laughs> there you get like eight boosts for that. Yeah, yeah I, was, I would I give gonna, you a boost for knowing what the ultimate ninja weapon that's is. That's nice. I was going to say katana, so. I was going to say shuriken. Well, we also have katana. Someone suggested flamethrowing katana. <laughs> what? If it was magic, maybe, yeah. That would be the best. Uh, wow. Shuriken. Swallowtail ninja star. Which I was tempted to give it to because I don't even know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> That's how cool it is. Uzis. <laughs> Uzis. Not traditionally the weapon of the ninja, but okay. And then yeah. bow or quarter staff. Hey, they're ninjas. Modern All right, ninjas. so oh, the I've got staff. my that would have been my Kasari Gami. I've got my Kasari Gami. <laughs> <laughs> so that which is literally it's like ten feet of like fine linked chain, ending in a wicked three part of tripartite hook. They can do yeah. so many things with, with a weighted it. end. Oh. You can hook it around someone's leg and yank it out from under them. You can use it to climb with. That's why they're like... standard issue in the New Republic. Oh my god, <laughs> that weapon is amazing. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I've been trying to save up for one of those for forever. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, listen, listen, maybe later we could talk about, about getting a trade. If you do a good job for me. <sighs> Quit fooling around, we got <laughs> stuff to do. <laughs> with, 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 with Jet Lee level skills. It's just a Bruce Lee, even yeah, just. <laughs> and you, you it's rap. just like when I took tw twirling. <laughs> Flag twirling, yeah. Okay. You're you're amazing with it. Seriously. Okay, so are you still taking the lead, Maharaja, as you guys go into the slightly lit, um, flooded research facility in search of this phantom message from a voice from none of your past, but somebody's past. Uh, I look at Val and I'm like, after you, pilot. Well, when we're on land, I'm not a pilot technically. I'm just an average guy. I'm just walking ahead of her. <laughs> <laughs> so now, now I'm a pilot before no one to listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> Scanning for danger Does again. Does your hand go to your gun on your hip occasionally, or are you you're a pretty cool customer? Oh, really? Jittery? Really, really cool. Okay, so not just even worried. If think that there's nothing going on, just like, oh yeah, this is water, no one's gonna be able to breathe in that. If his hand no goes to his hip, it's only to like adjust it sexily. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those are extraordinarily tight pants. Yeah, <laughs> his charisma's off the charts. And he, and he was just soaked with fluid, so. Oh, yeah, Woo! yeah. I mean, all of you were. Did, did his shirt come off? <laughs> A couple of buttons. <laughs> the vest Has opened been... more. Go yeah. ahead and adjust my gun. Did is both of them? What about the cap? <laughs> 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 All right. Well, it, well, not to get distracted. Who the, ca uh, the captain uh, is fully clothed sergeant. except for his pants. The sergeant, is, uh, except for his pants, which just like have been shredded by his sweet temporary thighs. I love it. Okay. <laughs> temporary thighs is a pretty good name for an episode too. Um, <laughs> so I have marching order. Then you're in front of Maharaja, is what I'm hearing. Yeah. Uh, are you in the lead? Yes. Val. Val is taking the lead. I I'm, sleep sleep in the lead. I'm scanning. I'm scanning despair. for danger. I'm basically using you as a human shield. I like it. <laughs> Maharaja is a cagey customer. Or <laughs> playing mind games with everybody. That's why she's still here. Uh, no longer riding an Ewok. Uh, uh, no longer riding a Rancor. 
I trail behind with stooped soldier, shoulders and an air of depression. Mm -hmm. You guys can almost see the little black cloud over her head. Yeah. So which puts the cap in, in second to last. <clears throat> second to last, just basically whirling a giant force field of death around myself. <laughs> well, it's no good to have a dispirited member. I, I give you a, a one of these. Pat <laughs> on the back. Yeah. To, to root. I'm not, oh, not, I'm not good, good with. I'm not good with human down, emotion. Little fella, I think I got. I'm not good something. with emotion. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so you're like, feeling great. <laughs> <laughs> Wakey, wakey. Giant painful smile on your face. Oh, you no. You still feel terrible. I hear, oh, no. I hear Europe on the ship going, oh, no. calling for me. <laughs> yeah. Um, so so prog progress to this place is weird at best. I mean, like I said, it's flooded with 18 inches in all the rooms of this saline solution everywhere. Yeah. Uh, so that's it's it's like waist you. deep to me. It's like waist deep for you. So you're, you're waiting. The rest of you guys are... Just getting soaked. With it should be pain. easier with the rancor. <laughs> That's what I said. And the <laughs> give her the pat on the back. And I give her a pat on the back. <laughs> you, are, you are just like messing with me. I'm like, you're very so, like, smart. I know. Uh, and as you guys get get closer and or not closer to anything necessarily, but further into this thing, you guys all pick up on the same weird, deep, almost like a bass thrumming or. Something like that. It seems in time to this weird bestial groaning that's coming from within. Let it eat me. I deserve to be eaten. Come on, stop screwing around. Here and there, dead bodies. Yeah. Dead oh. bodies. Oh, yeah. I want to investigate. Yeah, I want to floating, floating in the fluid. I want to. I want to investigate how they died. Well, yeah. so, so okay. Uh, I mean, because you know, I've I've seen a lot of death. I've dealt a lot of death. You know, I've been to death. Each of them. <laughs> Just to like to, a quick perusal. Some of them, yeah. Some, uh, a number of different ways. Some people look like they were trampled. Ooh. How old are these bodies? Trampled to death. Ooh, God. Uh, mm, probably at least, ooh, they're high level of decomposition. I don't want to describe oh. it, so I don't want to say that. But okay. uh, yeah, like you grab them, flip them over, and then like, like a horrible, like bloated, like, their skin is coming off. Okay, and okay. Ooh. <laughs> Old. Like so a piece of white bread yeah. that you've left all the, in the water and you're trying to move it, but bits keep like... like stuff you would see like... in Star Wars A New Hope. Like, you know, <laughs> just casual. Stuff you'd see in Star Wars Rogue One if they had the balls. <laughs> <laughs> and they'd show you that and then they cut right to like, God, no shield right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm. But you are, I mean, I guess they wouldn't be that bad because they're all still wearing their research garb. Um, does anyone have, is trained in education? Does anyone have any <laughs> training in their education <laughs> skills? In or is education. no one, everyone's untrained in that? I, I, I have training I don't in have technology. education or training. Okay, I will take, I will take a role from the captain, or from the sergeant. <sighs> All the sergeant right. captain. In fact, your first name must be captain. Sergeant captain. Sergeant, sergeant captain Johnst. Captain Johnst. I was awesome. here, buddy. Uh, you're familiar with this stuff, so one purple. One purple. You know, I've seen all sorts of spooky stuff. Oh. oh and I'm not good well, at that. Let's try that one more time. If it went all the out? Yeah, no, it's okay. fine. It's all right. That was two successes. <laughs> you locked it into one success. I saw it. That was two successes. Either way, I succeed with a... I don't care. I'm getting all of successes. Okay, all right. <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah, I succeed with a little bit of advantage. It's well, yeah, yeah because cancel these out. cancel out. So yeah. one advantage. One advantage, three success. Uh, you recognize the the laboratory coats, and so first of all, not all of them are human. Some of them are very like um, these strange, spindly aliens. Right. You see a large strange? number of them. Yeah, not type of creature you've seen around a lot. Like okay. really long limbs, really um, tubular. <laughs> and gnarly. They're, yeah, not gnarly, but like <laughs> long like tube-shaped limbs and stuff, and like pale white skin. Uh, was it so, Tamaya's little box friend? No, not they're, not quite okay. like. They're like okay. the they're like the. Uh, I mean, like out of character knowledge, they're the friggin'. Uh, I want to call them the Taminos. 
Uh, Kevin Owens? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you recognize him as Kevin Owens. Uh, Ka- uh, God, I hate Owens. myself. Oh, for I heard, that. I heard Kevin <laughs> Owen, and I was like, KO. <laughs> what? Uh, They're wrestlers. Kevin Owens. Yeah, well, the, some of the humans look like Kevin Owen. In oh fact, my God. A number of the, a number, <laughs> oh my God. A number of the uh, dead humans you see. Some of them, and there seems to be a difference in the clothing as well as you go through. Mm-hmm. Um, so what I would my what does my I character think with know? that success you would. Um, and also based on their garb and some of the badges and stuff they, are they have. Are these cloning technicians? Yeah. Uh oh! Looks like somebody's grown people and vats again. That never works. And those out are the well. one. There's a bunch of Kevin Owens floating around <laughs> among the Kevin Owens. They're all hunky as hell. <laughs> so <And> bravo! <laughs> the the Kevin Owens are all wearing uh, like simple like hospital garb kind of stuff. Sign some of them, up. some of them like look hot, and then you flip them open, over, and their faces are like not formed yet. It's like, <laughs> you're like, oh, well, huh? oh, maybe. <laughs> one, one, one's doing a slow cannonball through the water. <laughs> well, they're all dead. Well, uh, but that's, yes, that's one of his moves. Oh, I knew that. I know a lot about Kevin Owen. <laughs> I definitely knew that. Uh, so, <laughs> um, to you, Root, it's almost it must be like going through the underworld. Yeah, In yeah. In a way, it's uh, these, this weird, poorly lit, flooded fact, cavern filled with corpses. You guys oh. don't know this, but in Ewok lore, one of the signs that you are approaching the the great dividing place, where some Ewok souls are sent to hell, is that you wade through a river of dead bodies. Of Kevin Owens. Of Kevin Owens. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Owens is huge. Cut back the posters in your room. Theology. It's just oddly specific. <laughs> There's Kevin Owens drawing a crab. Why did not let them touch that poster? <laughs> it's like one religious of those symbolism. Terrifying children's drawings. Man. So are you about to freak Owens. out right now? No, I'm glad. Because I've been oh. wandering through this crap for a long time and I haven't found the way forward. Now, it, it, it's important to note that, that Root believes she is dead and traveling through the spirit realm. <laughs> <laughs> all this is like, because that's the only way that little Ewok can process all this madness that okay. she has witnessed. Okay. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, because I've been... You're I've, all spirit creatures. Guys, I've been performing at a casino for the last few months. <laughs> <laughs> so I have felt stalled out on my journey. Your hero's okay. journey. My hero's journey. Like, yeah. I was like, no, this was never something I was taught as a child. That you die and then you perform at a casino for months on end. <laughs> same show every night. Purgatory, maybe, yeah. Oh, Two okay. shows on weekends. <laughs> for lots of money and accolades. <laughs> yes, so okay. none of this has made sense until now. I'm glad to see it because it makes sense. So, in, in fact, on that point, Fakwad. Hey, Fakwad. Hey, yeah, uh, heals to lean one strain for her adventures. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. That applies. Um, yeah. Thank you, Fakwad. So, and Root makes a gleeful noise when yeah. seeing this. Yeah, like a body like floats up to her and she's like, Rawr! Yeah. <laughs> That's dead! <laughs> we don't have to worry about you eating these things, do we? What? No, not fresh. Only fresh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, so as you guys continue to like slosh your way through, so cloning facility, yes. Right. Mm-hmm. Another door, you know, you guys manage to step or like push open this half jam door, and then there's like glass tubes that are either filled with like goop or been shattered and broken out. No lights at this point going oh. forward. Uh. Who has a light source? <laughs> <laughs> oh! Everyone dies. <laughs> oh, saying like maybe I can give them night vision somehow. Oh, okay. I thought you had a light, a flashlight you were trying it's to turn just on. Their eyeballs. <laughs> just explode. Explode. <laughs> why would they want New Republic program that in? <laughs> no, why would they program in like massive thighs? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I like <laughs> this. Triple, triple. The Hutt yeah. became president like two seconds before we left. This technology. Well, he, he was in charge. He's of really him. obsessed with legs. He doesn't <laughs> have any. <laughs> oh, oh, goodness. My legs are huge. They're no problem. Uh, yeah. I've, he's, I've like already... a, he's also like a Martin Shrekel, uh, Shrekelly type. Who's that guy? Yeah, deep uh, pharmaceutical roots. Oh. Trump of the Hutt. Okay. So, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, he's got, he's got um, his uh, tentacles and everything. Yeah. yeah. No. His um, tongue. Ooh, oh, God, the tongue. 
Mm -hmm. um, I've already been scanning for danger. I'm gonna uh, pop that up to vigilance. Vigilant, okay, so does that mean gun out? Yeah, I don't like dark rooms. Wait, so... It's totally dark going ahead. You it's are totally behind me and just pulled your gun out. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't me. I was me. joking. I didn't think she was going to actually eat it. I am sorry. Your hands just go right to your <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> Just put my hand on my guns, <laughs> both of them. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I, I assume you guys on the ship had some sort of glow, glow fusion glow rod sticks. Luckily, luckily, my sweet weapon also has a glow stick. Feature. Oh my god, that weapon's so cool! And you are full on raving at this point. <laughs> oh, it's cool. Cool. it changes from like purple to red to blue. Oh my god, such a cool weapon. It's pretty neat. You okay. said that there were uh, flashlights on that ship? At least a few. Okay. I know for a fact they're on my ship. That's <laughs> always one point. That so you've got your flashlight out. It's kind of ruining your effect as you guys go forward, like the light okay. beams occasionally. I'm following my that. nose. Liquid starts to get a little deeper the closer you get, you're passing all these like row after row of like cylinders, now mostly broken. Um, you can see that there seem to be like amino acid, amino fluid storage tanks that are just like spurting out this like thick white fluid, or white, ugh, yellow, oh. this translucent yellow fluid that's like everywhere, but it seems yeah. to be like a mixture of like saline solution, bacta, and like cool. um, just like nourishing amino acids. This acid. is what they yeah. make to make the clones, this is why we call them goo boys. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything else you can tell us before we go further? <laughs> You hear some sort of horrible metal screeching coming from just beyond. Um, Does it sound like big metal? Like one of these tubes opening? No. It's, Bigger? Um, yeah, and it sounds like, uh, it's hard to say what it sounds like. It sounds like metal on metal. It doesn't sound like a tube opening. It sounds like. Does it sound like a <laughs> Rancor Settling? destroying a robot? Oh. Yes, yeah, so it sounds a lot more like a Rancor destroying a robot. That's <laughs> <laughs> Does it sound like a settling noise or a readying noise? That you could not say. Okay. Does it sound like a noise I can hook? <laughs> that, <laughs> perhaps from a chain. <laughs> <laughs> As you go, uh, this last door is already wedged most of the way open. And you guys step through into this totally black room. If it went crazy. Wait, what? I'm sniffing. Oh. Okay, smells really strongly of, of oil, of like motor oil and grease. And you know, uh, there are actually grates along the floor here in this room and the fluid is like pouring through it so the room's actually dry beyond. The room itself is quite large, maybe 100 feet across by 100 feet, just a big square with really tall ceilings and you can see lots of uh, equipment and things like that. Um, kind of looks like you could, um, I guess it looks like it's equipment you could like retract or take down, mm -hmm. almost like a machining den or something like that. What would you call that? Garage, I guess. And there are like partially assembled engines or things like that in the middle of the room. You guys enter, you hear a just something is moving around up above you. You don't see anything as your flashlights go up and, and shine around into the darkness. What would you do? All right, everybody, bang, bang is out. Pull out his gun. I've already got mine out, and I'm down on one knee scanning the... <laughs> this uh, metal monstrosity unfolds from the ceiling and drops to the ground. It seems to have like six metal legs that like lift it up. It looks a lot like a... Um, Spy spider? Spidery, but also like blocky and, and not with the grace of a spider. More like, um, you know when Han Solo is being tortured on, in Cloud City by like the little uh, um, interrogation chair? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he's like, they're like zapping him with it. It looks like kind of that as its core with all of this accompanying metal machinery and gear and legs like moving it up and keeping it around. And then underneath that, kind of nestled in where the thorax would be, a glass globe filled with more of this fluid with like, um, it looks like a brain floating around in it. I immediately aim for that. 
an open I've, fire? Uh, yeah, I, I've been extremely vigilant, scanning for dan danger. I'm stabilized <laughs> on one knee. As you fire, <laughs> um, as you do so, a voice calls out from it. No, wait, or oh. heavily distorted. <laughs> Sorry. The gunshot ricochets off of its body as it has been blast shielded. <laughs> and your uh, blaster carbine shot just starts ricocheting around the room. Uh oh. Um, great, it's going to target one of you guys. Uh, so, how about everybody? Dude, it was danger. Totally Served you well most of the time. Everybody roll a force die. Next time, wait for me to hook. Whoever gets. <laughs> Whoever gets a, uh, a black result is going to get dinged by this. Your ninja no. skills get you out of the way. Ding! Val gets oh. pinged. Oh. Root hits the deck. Ding! Uh, uh, and you fired it, so it might ricochet back and hit you. It does. Oh. Okay, so it clips you. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, I don't know, it's a blaster carbine, so I think it's like a... Shoots okay. like a short burst. So these things around the room, you guys both get hit. Uh, what is your base damage for your blaster carbine? Um, I deal nine damage on a hit plus one damage per success symbol rolled. Great, so we'll say nine damage to each of you guys. You can subtract your soak from that. So five wounds? Yes. Yeah. Oh, no strain? Oh, gosh. Yeah, five wounds to you both. I might have to just go back to the ship and sit down. Oh, yeah. Did that put you at three? Yeah. Wait, Sorry, did guys. you have four soak? Did you have four soak? I have four, four soak. soak. And she took nine points of damage, so, so five. Five, yes, yeah, so it leaves you at three. This is the point when you turn to the camera and you make a plea to chat. Well, yeah. yes, you're right, but we're actually going to wrap it up right here okay. for tonight because oh, okay. the voice calls out <laughs> and it's heavily distorted with this static. Is it Tamaya? <gasps> Wait, is it Lek? Wait, no, that's her last name. <laughs> is it Merce? No, it's, it's me, Bosley. Wow. Oh. <laughs> None of us have any connection to you. Oh. You you got my message. This is coming towards you. Bosley, you got real weird looking. You've got to get me out of here. Love your legs. He was though. a human before. Oh, no. You've got to get off of this place before before they find out you're here. There's too many of them. They're eating up everything on board. They're out of control. I feel like... Uh... Tamaya came here. She was here. She saved me from what was left on the pit. Uh, again. Tamaya, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have much left of me, so this is my new body, I guess. He says trying to gesture towards this horrible strider monstrosity. You can just see that brain floating in a jar that one time was in a human body. Oh, horror. And they were trying to clone her lover. They were trying to clone and bring back. Merce? <laughs> Merce. <laughs> Blanked out on. Merce is in a man purse? Yeah, there's also a man <laughs> purse. For those of you who are brand new, and this is why I was like, oh God, should I bring him in in the middle of an adventure? My yeah. backstory, forget about it. So obviously, your reaction to this would be the same as your character's, which mm -hmm. would be like, should we shoot it again? <laughs> <laughs> well, I know about Merce. Merce. I know him. We were trying to clone him. It was Tamaya and her weird demon thing. Uh, you know? Yeah, bad stuff. Let's go. Come they, on. <laughs> go away. Come on. Quick, quick, quick. Move, move, move. And they had some 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 physical material left over from the pit, but it wasn't Merce's. It wasn't Merce's. What's the point? Of <laughs> the doors open, and a a, we need to leave. a flood of naked Gippy Bindus uh, topples into what? the room. <laughs> We've got to get out of here now. The Gippy Bindus are out of control. Okay, let's go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> All naked, all flabbing down onto each other. <laughs> They're trying to eat each other. Before anybody I'm... moves, I just look and go, you shot me again. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll end the session on that cliffhanger and on that excellent button. Yeah. As Gippy Bindus have been getting cloned here for the last six months or so. Why? Yeah. Why would someone clone him? <laughs> Accidental.
Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. We'll get into that yeah. in the next session, but it seems like something's gone horribly, horribly wrong. Oof. Seriously. Guys, thank you for playing tonight. What uh, a fun time. It was such a good time to get two like, totally new people in. You guys both totally picked it up <laughs> and took to it right away. Fine. Guys watching, thank you so much for tuning in. That's the big cliffhanger. We'll be what? back in two weeks here on Friday, uh, February 3rd. Yes, maybe. Is it? Yeah, that would be February 3rd. Yeah, so we'll be back nice. same time, same Star Wars time, same Star Wars channel. You can tune in for that. <laughs> But there's also lots of other great content all week long. Tomorrow you can turn in for, is it uh, uh, Masks tomorrow morning? Masks. masks tomorrow morning. And is it Phoenix followed by Dawn Phoenix Command? Dawn Command that afternoon. Yeah. And uh, then there's lots of great content all week, which you guys can find out on our Twitch channel or whatever. Hooray! Yeah. We hit our goal. We hit our goal. We hit, hit our goal. goal? What? Yay! 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 Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. I'm glad my oh. death can contribute. Yeah, your death <laughs> contributed. That was a big part but of it. But yeah. we're overwhelmed with Gippies now. So I think one question is, which which Gippie's the real Gippie? Oh. Was there ever a real Gippie? Was there ever a real Gippie? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there've been Gippies have been getting cloned at this facility for some time. Oh, yeah. Goodness. Accidentally. But um, great, guys. We'll get into that mystery later. Any final thoughts before we uh, sign off for the evening, everybody? Anything they want to plug? Any social media stuff? Uh, yeah, follow me on Twitter and uh, Instagram at Markeia McCarty, M A R K E I A M C C A R T Y. Awesome. Yeah. You guys should yeah. see that in the uh, player descriptions too, right, Dom? Yep. Yeah, so it's cool. on the screen. Yeah, check her out. Uh, and if I come back, um, I've got three wounds left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, a, it's a tough situation for everybody. I have yeah. three re rolls that I didn't even get a chance to use because Ooh. everything went pretty wild. So I'm going to hang on to these for next time. Thank you guys. Uh, suggest things, suggest actors you want to see in the universe at Star Wars Cameos, hashtag Star Wars Cameos at NTMTO Podcast. Follow us on iTunes. Leave us reviews on iTunes. Never tell me the odds, please. Uh, and follow us if you're not following Saving Throw on YouTube or on uh, Twitch. Do that. Yeah. Okay, that's it for us, guys. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.